Never in my life did I think that I would witness the racism and complete disregard for an entire human race. So I need to talk about it. The refugee camp that Israel bombed, killing hundreds, like over 400. They said they thought there was one Hamas commander there. One. And instead of going in with their special forces and their billions of dollars of aid and their technology where they can intercept calls and, you know, know if this Hamas commander is there, how to get him. They knew hundreds of civilians were residing there. They bombed it, knowing they would kill hundreds. To them, they were willing to sacrifice hundreds of Palestinians for one Hamas member. One. Is that not like, that's like one of the most insane things I've heard. And then the fact that there's people out there defending that, saying that that's okay. Like if there were 400 Israelis killed for one Hamas member, none of you would be okay with it. But you're okay with it because you have you and Israeli life over Palestinian life. And you prove that time and time again. And then you have the audacity to say that you care about Palestinian lives. You care about them, but you think it's okay to kill hundreds of them for one Hamas member. And then I post about a baby, an unborn baby that was taken from a pregnant woman's stomach who was killed in an airstrike. And instead of taking one moment to mourn this child and have sympathy for this child, like just one second, if there's one second for this child, you immediately make it about Hamas. You say, well, what about Hamas? You can't, like, you don't have a single ounce in your entire body that you can just care about Palestinians for one second. You immediately have to turn it around. It's like, in, it's just insane to me. And then, like, we, we're seeing these atrocities from our phones. Like, as well as Israel, you know, admitting it and, like, telling us what they're doing, we're seeing it from our phones. Okay, if you think it's okay to kill hundreds of Palestinians for one Hamas member, explain what's also going on in the West Bank. There's videos of IDS soldiers just torturing Palestinian men. They have their eyes blindfolded, their hands are, like, tied back, they're naked, they're being kicked around. Like, they're just, it's absolutely so humane and cruel. And then there's also videos of the idea of going in, doing their ground invasion, and targeting and blowing up civilians' cars. Like, I've seen these videos. And you'll come in the comments and say that they're made up and you don't believe them. So you won't even, like, you won't even mourn these lives or, like, care they're happening because you won't believe it. You'll say it doesn't happen. Meanwhile, you'll also come in the comments and say the most insane lies about Hamas. It's not even in the news. Like, some of the things you're saying, if that was true, Israel would be blowing it up. They'd want everyone to know. But you're completely making stuff up. And you care more about that than what's actually happening. Like, And then you're so mad that we don't believe your lies. Meanwhile, we're coming to you with proof. Palestinians are showing you what's happened to them. And you're still saying, I don't believe it. You don't believe it. The crimes that the IDF has committed for years, this is not start October 7th, are atrocious and they're well documented. Do you know how many women the IDF has raped? In 2020 alone, there was 15,000 sexual assault claims against the IDF, 36 of which were rape. Are you not enraged about that? Do you not care about that? Do you not care about it because it was the IDF who did it or because it was against Palestinian? Because the IDF and Hamas could do the exact same crime and everyone will condemn Hamas, everyone on both sides, people who are pro-Palestine, pro-Israel will all condemn Hamas, yet no one will condemn Israel for the crimes they're committing. They could do the exact same crime that you're horrified that Israel did, or you'll lie making up something that Hamas did when Israel actually did it, and you don't care. Like, the mental gymnastics that some of you are doing to try to say that this video that's in front of you, this dead child in front of you, was made up. It didn't actually happen. It's just insane to me. It's, like... And then, like, aside from that, you're still okay with them cutting off food, water, electricity, me medical supplies... You don't think that's inhumane? The fact that there's countries around the world calling for a ceasefire, saying there needs to be a ceasefire, and you're sitting back being like, no, nope, I'm smarter than you. Actually, a ceasefire won't help anything. Like, what on earth? 